guys so welcome to another video we're gonna do this week the TTC tag as you can see we're in a bit of a an unfamiliar location cool headboard um, uh, we're in a hotel at the minute um, in Manchester for Manchester Pride so we're doing this in the hotel room yeah so we have been tagged by quite a few people um, going back to like a month ago now but we've Wanted to, we wanted to wait, didn't we? We wanted to wait until we'd had we'd actually done our we'd first actually cycle. TTC'd. <laughs> so we were tagged by um, Lisa and Lindsay, um, All Things Dirt. And I've made a, I've made a list. <laughs> two, la a lot. two ladies make a baby and Laura. Oh, Laura Madison and the Power Tribe. So many tags, and we still took a while to do it. <laughs> My bad. Oh, our bad. So yeah. So cool, we're just gonna crack on. So, I'll ask Lucy the questions, seeing as you're going to do all the hard work. Um, so, what is your name and how old are you? My name is Lucy and I am 27 years old. And what is your relationship status? I am tied down with this one. We're engaged. Um, so, we've been engaged now for... A year and a half? Yes. And she's not dumped me yet. <laughs> um, if you have a partner, what is his or, his or her name and age? So my name's Amy and I'm also 27. You um, doubted yourself then, <laughs> you looked at me like, am I 27? Um, but I am a few months older than Luce. Um, older lady, yeah. <laughs> um, how long have you been TTC? So we started, we had our first appointment in January of this year. And we had our first IUI in July of this year. We've only had one cycle so far. Um, so it depends when you count the start point. We've, but we've had one cycle and we've been... Yeah, I would start it in January ago. because that's when the whole kind of process started and yeah. things. Um, unfortunately, the first one was negative. Second time lucky. Yes. Um, and number five is, if you could go back and talk to yourself at the beginning of your TTC journey, what words of encouragement would you give yourself? You can go ahead with this one. <laughs> so I would kind of say, so we always say um, everything happens for a reason mm -hmm. and it'll happen when it happens, you know, like, and I truly do believe that. Yeah. So we already say that. Um, I, I don't think we can really advise ourselves until we get our positive tests. Yeah. Do you know what I, think, I mean? I, th I think you would maybe, we listen to people on what they said about the trigger shot. Mm -hmm. um, and how oh, it yeah. does kind of play, mess with your mind a little bit. So we knew that, but I think you said you that still fall for it a bit, don't you? Yeah, you would try not to focus as much on yeah things on that you were focusing on yeah. Um, yeah, they were kind of that's kind of it really. I think we've done mm -hmm. might change as we go well, carry on down the journey. Yeah, we'll see. Anyway, we'll learn along the way. <laughs> Um, any known obstacles or challenges to TTC? Money. Yeah, money, I would say, is quite a big yeah. obstacle and challenge, um, I guess. Like, yeah. Too much work, man. It's, it's very expensive. Obviously, we saved up a lot before, um, and we're just hoping it doesn't take too many tries to, to cost more and more and more. Yeah. Obviously, That's we're something that I worry at an about. NH cl NHS clinic, but we're still privately funded, like, self-funding it, so we're still hoping it doesn't wait, we can get there while we've still got money. <laughs> yeah. Another obstacle is I don't have any sperm. <laughs> and also the polyps that we found when yes. we had our first scan and we had, how many was it? I get it wrong every I time. I don't know, she had something like six or seven, six or seven polyps, polyps removed which would have stopped me getting pregnant if we hadn't found them, but that's gone now. And then finally I'd say um, this cyst at the moment is... Um, yeah, that's stopping us because we can't have the cycle while I've got a cyst on me over it. No, so it's a bit of an obstacle, but yeah. That's um, just an, just part of the course. It's just delaying it, isn't it? Yeah. We'll get there. <laughs> when it's meant to happen. <laughs> um, how many sticks did you pee on during a cycle? Be honest, include... OPKs. OPKs and HPTs. Do you know what both of those are? Ovulation something... Prediction kit. Yep, yeah, and... A progress test. <laughs> yeah. The honest answer? One. One. Because we did a stimulated cycle, we did the trigger shot so I didn't have to do the ovulation tests. 
and we did the we saw that negative test and was like fuck my yeah, life not doing it again <laughs> not doing it anymore <laughs> um and we used one of the first response ones so and so we knew it was like, pretty accurate um, how many times in a cycle did you ask someone else to squint on your sticks asking if they could see a second line? Not once. So no, I didn't ask anybody else, nor did you. However, after it, Lucy did go to work and I did look at this test all day and try to see <laughs> in different <laughs> angles if there was just like another line coming. And I knew there wasn't, but then didn't an hour anyone. later I'd pause the PlayStation and then I'd look again and yeah, I don't think I told you that, but I did no, look, I I did look quite a lot at this test, um, yeah. but there was no, no second yeah. line. Yeah. <laughs> but it'll happen when it's supposed to happen. <laughs> Next question. What is the earliest day post ovulation you started testing? I think it was 13 days, 13 yeah. days after. So it was the day, yeah, it was a day. So it was the day before. Yeah, so it was 13 days past. Um, so IUI. Two, yeah, so the two week wait would have been up the day after. Yeah. And the only reason we did it day 13 was because when you take the trigger shot, you um, come on your period two weeks after. Mm. And we didn't, Lucy didn't want to I didn't want to risk on. coming on at work. Um, that would have been very tragic and rubbish and yeah. I wouldn't have been feeling it. So at least I was prepared. Yeah. It actually came the next day, 14 days past. So yeah, that was quite accurate, wasn't it? Yeah, so, yeah. very accurate. Oh, hold up, the phone's locked. And final question, natural or medicated birth? Give me the drugs. <laughs> <laughs> like, fair play if you want to go natural, but... Yeah, I... Medica the, the medicine's here to help you. If I don't have to go through horrific pain, I'm not, I'm not gonna. <laughs> I think it'd be cool for you to experience it. I'm actually quite... Yeah, you, you feel you experience it as well. I feel very strongly about you doing a natural birth, babe. No, tough. <laughs> you can do a natural birth when Oh, hell no. <laughs> Medical. So yeah, medicated all the way. But um, whatever floats your boat, if you want to do natural, do natural. Yeah, um, you've got my respect if you can do it naturally. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Fair play to you. Um, but yeah, so we are not... So the way we're going to tag this, actually... Um, is most of the people on Instagram that we get, sorry, most of the people on YouTube that we talk to have- Are the RTTC channels, have already yeah, been tagged. have already been tagged or already done it. So, mm -hmm. um, we will link their video, their channels down below, just yeah, go and check yeah, them yeah. out because they're all really great and they're going through the same kind of stuff. A lot of them are already pregnant, so that'll be really cool for you to see. Yeah, follow like, their journey. Yeah, see their baby when it arrives. We also kind of thought that maybe there's quite a few people on YouTube, uh, for goodness sake, quite a few people on Instagram that we talked to who are TTC. So there's just a couple of people that I thought maybe we could tag that said that they would mm, do this tag it up a on bit. their Insta story. Yeah. So I will also link them down below in it. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah. Go check them out if you've got Instagram. And follow us on Instagram if you don't already. Yes. I'm so happy with our Instagram. Like, we've got, we're almost at... Almost at 1,800 followers, which is I was looking awesome. Like I'm okay, so thank happy. Thank you with so that. much for everyone. Who's Instagram's like Instagram. my little Instagram's like my baby until a baby comes <laughs> here. So I'm so proud. <laughs> We're gonna tag from Instagram, so it's the LGBT Mummies Tribe, um, with a few random underscores. underscores in there. So check it out. Um, the two IVF mums and Ezra's mums. Um, yeah, they're all great people as well. Ezra's super cute, by the way. <laughs> I think gen I'm genuinely concerned for Amy in this video. She genuinely wants to steal him. <laughs> no, don't say that. You saw I don't want you stealing, guys. By the way, I just think he's super cute. But thank you so much for watching the video. Thanks for tagging us. Um, we're now gonna go in and well, we're gonna now sleep, but we're gonna go and enjoy Manchester Pride. Yeah. Well, the spa's open for another hour, so uh, maybe we'll go... Okay, so we're house. gonna go to the spa. <laughs> okay, thank you very much for watching. Um, give us a like rating, subscribe, ding dong the bell, and we'll see you next week for another video. Bye. Probably a prize vlog, because we've got our vlogging camera. Bye. Bye. Bye.